Hello all and welcome back to Talking Walls and welcome to a brand new series on the channel, Match in Numbers. Every week after Walls play a game, we're going to be uploading a video like this where we take an in-depth look at each match Walls play in the Premier League and giving you all the facts and stats. Today we're going to be looking at Walls versus Everton which finished 2-2 at the Molyneux on Saturday and we're going to be looking at all the stats in depth. As always, in the comment section down below, let us know your thoughts. So let's start off with the basic match stats. Wolves and Everton, they both had plenty of the ball. 57% possession with Wolves, which obviously we'll talk about later why they had so much. And 43% possession of the ball for Everton. Shot-wise, Wolves had 11 to Everton 6. However, Everton did have more on target. They had 5 shots on target to Wolves 4. Everton had 6 corners. Wolves only had the 3. And fouls were pretty equal. Wolves committing 8 and Everton committing 7. So we are going to be talking more about in-depth on why Wolves maybe had a lot more of the ball. Well, as we know, uh, it was a red card for Phil Jagielka. And it's a controversial one. We, we don't want to touch on it too much. We don't want to talk about it too much. In my eyes, it probably was a red card. But as always, we can always have a discussion in the comment section down below on that one. And that really changed the game from there on in. It was only one of a caution in the game. That was for Richarlison in the first half. But other than that, that red card completely changed the game. So let's have a quick look at the goals. And as you can see on our map here, we've got all four goals as the game finished to each. First goal on that left-hand side there for Richarlison. Just inside the six-yard box, the goal mouth scramble. Very, very easy. And that was a, a very nice goal for Everton. And a, a, a pro goal for Wolves to concede, in all honesty. We do look at that free kick, though, by Ruben Neves on the right-hand side there. On the edge of the D, beautifully floated in across Jordan Pickford into the back of the net. Now Everton did regain the lead, a fantastic finish from Richarlison just inside the box there. A very tight angle, but managed to curl it around the defender and pass Rui Patricio and the equaliser there. Just in front of the penalty spot for Raul Jimenez, a fantastic ball again from Ruben Neves. So let's look at the passes. As you can see, plenty on the screen there, but Wolves made 548 passes overall, 411 for Everton. There's all sorts of passes here that we can have a look at. The pass types, Wolves made 25 crosses compared to Everton's 15. Nine free kicks uh, with the passes, uh, whilst Everton had seven. To be honest, the only real uh, stat on this front that Everton win is via corners. Every corner obviously counts as a pass. And that's the only place they beat Wolves. Other than that, Wolves have more through balls, more throw-ins, more key passes, more long passes, more short passes. Overall, as you can tell, Wolves have more of the ball. But this is mainly probably due to that red card. Looking at player-wise, though, Ruben Neves, no surprise. He's had the most patches, uh, passes on the pitch out of any other player with 94 passes overall in the 90 minutes. To be honest, closer to him uh, for Wolves, the closest was Willy Bolly with 69. And then you've got Ryan Bennett and Jao Moutinho both on 68. The most passes for Everton was Leighton Baines. He had 71 passes overall, uh, as you can see, all down that left-hand side. Bar his corner there, that was on the uh, far side. One or two there, quite central, but mainly staying onto his left flank. And they were where most of his passes were made. Now we're going to be looking at shots in general. Of course, we looked at the goals just earlier on. But now, Wolves had 11 shots to Everton 6. And one thing that really stands out here are the amount of shots that Wolves had outside the area. Plenty of Everton shots were inside the box. Two of them being, of course, the goals. One right on the edge of the box. One just outside the D. And one or two inside the box there. The one there just outside the box uh, was saved by Patricio. A very solid save. I think that was a, a tossing effort. Obviously, the one on the edge of the box as well. Um, straight at the goalkeeper too. But Wolves, as you can see, plenty of shots uh, from the edge of the area. Um, not too many inside the area, to be honest. You've got that one just inside the penalty spot, as we know, which is Raul Jimenez's uh, his goal. Um, Jimenez had a fantastic opportunity as well in the second half, which was uh, saved very nicely from Jordan Pickford. But overall, Ruben Neves had the most shots for Wolves. Level with Raul Jimenez both had three each. Helder Costa had two shots. Uh, Jota, Moutinho and Johnny all had a shot each as well. For Everton, Richarlison had the two shots, which obviously were both goals. Tosin had the shot. Michael Keane actually had two efforts on goal as well as Seamus Colburn, who had one. Now we're going to be focusing on something a little bit di different, clearances. Now, this one's quite an interesting one. Overall, Everton made 28 clearances to the Wolves 23. You'd probably expect that to be a little bit more, especially with how attacking Wolves were in the second half. But this is an interesting part 
19 of Wall's 23 clearances were via head. Uh, as you can see on the screen there, all the headers there that Wolves made. And only four were via the feet. Inside the box there, four via feet. Uh, but on the other hand, Everton had 15 via feet and 13 via head. So it was a lot more balanced for Everton on that front. And finally, we're, what we're going to be looking at is tackles attempted. So as you can see, all scattered round the pitch, really. Everton had 23 successful tackles, opposed to Wolves 11. And, uh, you know, as you can see, all over the pitch, really. Wolves doing a lot of their defending, maybe a lot deeper. You can see Everton there making a lot more tackles higher up the pitch, to be honest. Uh, plenty of their tackles higher up the pitch. Even one in the Wolves area, which was key. I think that was where Willie Bolly had lost the ball very early on. But you can see there how high Everton were pressing and uh, obviously did cause Wolves some problems. So with 10 men, they did manage to grab two goals. Finally, we're going to be looking at the heat maps. Obviously, we've touched on the amount of touches both teams had had. But as you can see there, Wolves having much hotter areas where it's red. Sort of middle to left-hand side of the pitch. The middle of the park was really where Wolves are playing their best stuff. For Everton, as you can see, Jordan Pickford's uh, own area there. Plenty of players were in there and plenty of time throughout the game. Other than that, it's on that left-hand side where later Baines and Richarlison were doing their thing. Richarlison obviously having plenty of the ball, especially earlier on in the game when Everton had the 11 men. But I thought I'd show you this one. Ruben Nevers, arguably the best heat map on the pitch. He was very much all over the place, obviously dominating throughout the middle of the park. But uh, compared to anyone else, he's covered a lot of ground there. And that is what he does. And that's the heat map and the final part of this video. So, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this today. Something a little bit different on the channel. Something for the general football fans, for them to enjoy too, if they want to have a better look into how both of these teams play. But make sure, as always, you hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of today's video and what you thought of the game overall. My name's been Dave. You can find me over on Twitter at Dave as a party. You can find a link for that in the description down below. If not, go and check out all of the Talking Wall social medias too. You've got Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all of those in the description. But until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'm sure I'll catch you all very soon.